Hello there everyone, I'm Willis Fox and welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the demo for Bear and Breakfast and oh my god, you get to wander around as a burly bear foraging and cleaning up the forest and yep, opening your own bed and breakfast. Bliss. Before we get into the demo, a quick channel update. Starting this week, I have some exciting new series starting on my channel, including Lilith Plays, a series of full and cozy playthroughs of games that I've been enjoying, and we'll be starting with Cozy Grove. If you don't already know about Cozy Grove, you can find my first look of that game right here. We'll also be starting Lilith's Builds, a series where I'll be showing off builds that I make in a variety of games, including Animal Crossing, The Sims 4, Minecraft, Valheim, Subnautica, and so many more, all while chatting about mindfulness, life, and all things games. I'll also be sharing quite a few more videos like this one where I show off new and upcoming games that I think you might enjoy. If all of this sounds good to you, please give this video a like, subscribe, and better yet, share it with a friend. Now, let's not keep our cozy bear waiting. Bear and Breakfast, developed by Gummy Cat Studio, is expected to release later this year on both Steam and Switch, and after playing the demo, I could not be more excited for its release. The game is described as a laid-back management adventure game, and from what I can tell so far, laid-back is a really good descriptor. There's no real pressure in Bear and Breakfast, and although days pass and count upward on the top of the screen, there doesn't seem to be much of a reason to rush anything, leaving us with plenty of time to play slowly and mindfully, wandering through the forests, picking up garbage, foraging mushrooms, and staring off into the mountains. I don't know about you, but I could stand here for hours, honestly, just watching the days pass and listening to the soundtrack. The demo offers a peek into the beginning of the game's story, introducing us to a group of three foresty friends, Annie the Hound, Will, and Hank, our chubby bear friend. The friends wander a bit too far into the forest and find themselves stumbling into Pinewood, where the smell and smoke of a human fire beckon them. Hank sets off to explore and meets Barbara, who isn't very mad at us for stealing into her house and rubbishing in her old moldy chest. Instead, Barbara asks for our help cleaning up the resort, giving us a series of tasks to do to clean up and renovate a nearby old cabin. Barbara teaches us how to build and decorate the bed and breakfast step by step with a thorough but not overly cumbersome tutorial. She then gives us the history of the Pinewood Resort. Pine Ball Resort used to be a magical place, the jewel of the valley. Charming and beautiful. If you didn't mind the dictatorship, well, we tried to keep it that way, at least. You see, it had a common and unfortunate affliction. Other people. But as bad as this uh, contamination was, it was also necessary. The little dung these pests left behind was of great value. And it made for fertile soil to grow and grow. But even so, the resort was beholden to its cruel owners. So we had to give up part of the treasure. <sighs> For the greater good, I suppose. When the regime fell 15 years ago, everything came crashing down after it. And so did we. The visitors stopped coming. The wealth ran out. The world collapsed. Our world collapsed. And now all that's left are run-down buildings and piles of garbage. And me, alone. Ever since. 
As we work on building up the bed and breakfast, we run into a few other characters. Took the raccoon who sells wares from a nearby dumpster in exchange for the garbage that we find strewn about the resort. Took has some pretty great items for sale, all with a certain rustic charm. Potted plants, old rustic barrels. Is a game even complete if it doesn't have a good old rustic wooden barrel? A variety of lamps and other decor and Ipswich the turkey, who seems kind of dramatic and sells crafting recipes, food, and more. Once the bed and breakfast is built up a bit, it opens for business to not so great a success. But over time, vacationers do start to request rooms and business does start to pick up. Barbara teaches us how to meet the needs of guests by building bathrooms, dining rooms, kitchens, and more, and slowly the cabin comes to life with rooms and customers. The rest of the demo is spent decorating the cabin, cooking food, learning how to manage the comings and goings and needs of customers, and of course, wandering aimlessly through the woods, foraging fruit and vegetables and materials, and just enjoying the scenery. I can't wait to see what's in store for the full game, which boasts a plot deeper than the forest itself, since honestly, just putzing around this part of the forest and building up and decorating my cabin was soothing and fun and kept me interested for a good few hours. I mean, the variety of potted plants alone was enough to impress me. Add in the prospect of quests, more items, and a rich storyline, and we have the makings of a game that just might become a favorite. So what do you think? Are you excited to check out Bear and Breakfast? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any recommendations for games you'd like to see me play or check out on this channel, leave that below as well. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more mindful gaming content. Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. All of my love.